G'day, Steve Morgan, Fishing Monthly Magazines. We have a fairly unique opportunity here. We've got hold of all of the boats that were at Mercury's dealer conference. I'm here with Simon Bajaya from down in Melbourne head office. And Simon, you're one of the technical men when it comes to rigging and putting all of this new technology into place. Yeah, I am. It's, um, you've had a big week. We've had all of these boats to test, but right now we're in the North Bank 750. It's a boat that we've tested before at Fishing Monthly in various iterations. Have a look at the links up above here for, uh, for some of those tests. But uh, the last time I jumped in one of these 750s, it had twin L6 Ferratos on the back, twin 225s, and it got to nearly 100 k's an hour. It was a bit of a weapon. Yep. This North Bank here, it's a, it's a proven workhorse made in South Australia by Rob Cumming and his crew. It has the, uh, the 400 horsepower, it's the white V10 5.7 litre Merc on the back and uh, wow, what a great outboard. Oh, it's an animal. Tell, take us through some of the features of the Mercury. Like we, as, as an amateur, I know that it's, it's quiet and it's smooth and it's, it's very amenable to drive, but uh, take us through some of the more technical aspects of that V10, some of the technology that's been introduced. So one of the things they've put into it is a 150 amp alternator. So it should be more than enough uh, amps there to supply power to all the electronics on the vessels. So they're getting more and more electronics, as you know. Yeah, they like, they like uh, anchor winches, big sounders, pie warmers, fridges, the works nowadays. Yeah, they do. And 150 amps. And that, that, that not all of those are available for charging, but it's class leading in what the alternator is, isn't it? It is, yeah. So uh, obviously that, that V10, it fills a gap in the Mercury's range. What's it, it between? It does, yeah. So it sits from our 300 Verado through to 400 V10 now. So it fits that gap really nicely. Um, we also have on that, a, it's a larger gearbox we're running. So 6.4 inch gearbox, which allows us to run some large diameter propellers, 18 inch diameter. Wow. Four below yep. So it really puts these boats on top of the water quickly and gives you good top end and overall performance. And it uses that torque that that V10 platform delivers. It does. Take us through um, some of the features that it's that it's drawn from both down below and up above. Like the like the V12 has the transmission and the steerable gear case. That's not in the 400. No, it's not. It's still a conventional steer. Um, we offer it in electro hydraulic, which is same as what we had on our 300 Grados currently. Yep. Um, but we also offer it in a full electric ram, um, which gives a lot of benefits around that as far as not taking room up in the boat. Uh, there's less amp drawer on the electric steer. It's faster response rate. Yep. And you can also get autopilot pretty simply with that. Yeah, I, I noticed that that integration with the Navico and the Simrad style units, so it's great. Uh, and not just those units, so anything with that NEMA backbone you can plug into and, uh, and get all the engine telemetry. Correct, yeah. And we still also run ARO, so Advanced Range Optimization, which fuel trims to give the best fuel efficiency. Yep. Uh, we still got that adaptive speed as well, so that will also hold its RPM on and through the corners or up and down swells. So it has all those great features that we currently have in our Verado range. So I noticed that this North Bank's also fitted with the next generation control box. Tell us about that. So next gen came out recently, um, as you already know. So it's filtered through the range as well for our VDM product. Um, has integrated modules in it, which no longer have, take real estate up behind the dashboard. Yep. Um, allows other components to be fitted in that area. Uh, integrated with uh, active trim. So straight off the bat with a GPS source, you've got active trim. So you no longer do it need to buy another module for that. Yep. Um, and it's really ergonomic and easy to use with all the little touch button features on those. Well, all I know is once you've had a boat with uh, DTS, you're never going to go back to cable again. It's no. like it's a chalk and cheese the difference, and uh, those next gen controls just bring everything, I suppose, to your fingertips and just maximises that boating experience. Well, what we normally do at Fishing Monthly is uh, we want to go out of the water and test all of these claims to find out exactly how this North Bank and 400 horsepower perform. We're going to come back to you with some of the performance stats.
there you go. There is uh, some time on the water there with this uh, North Bank 750 HT, the hardtop version, powered by that V10 400 horsepower Mercury 5.7 litre four stroke. And uh, what's cool is when we've tested this hull before, but with different engine configurations, and we can do a little bit of comparison between the two. We've tested this one with twin 225 horsepower L6 Ferratos, the old straight cylinder supercharged Ferratos, the straight six they are. Um, and we've got some comparative figures. 450 horsepower is the maximum recommended horsepower on this boat. So uh, those twin 225s hit that horsepower level. This is 50 horsepower less, but the performance is really interesting. That boat, uh, most e economical speed with the twins, 50 kilometers an hour when they got 850 meters per liter burned. With the 400 on it, um, most economical speed, 42 kilometers an hour, uh, but 1.2 kilometers per litre. So that's uh, nearly 50% better economy than the twins. Um, you might think, okay, well, that's got a, uh, an effect on top speed. No, exactly the same top speed for both. Both boats, 87 kilometers an hour. Um, the twins did it at 6,400 RPM using 187 litres per hour at wide open. That's collectively between the two engines. The 400 does it at 127 litres per hour. So again, even at wide open throttle, a much more efficient outboard. That compares to uh, 460 metres a litre for the twins, 680 metres a litre for the single outboard. Um, as always, this North Bank, it's, a, it's a always it's a big boat. It's got a big cockpit. It's beautifully finished with the, uh, the rubber style flooring, um, standard transom doors. We love the, uh, the dive door on the side. It really is a boat which is set up for fishermen. And one thing a fisherman will appreciate is the fact that it's got that lockable cabin up the front. You can lock all your fishing tackle in there at night and when you're driving around the country toting all of your expensive gear, you've got somewhere where you can stash it away, away from prying eyes. Um, at the helm, very comfortable, of course, the North Bank. Uh, they're a weighty boat, they ride quite nicely. You can see some of the cutaways here, you know, hitting a few gin palace washes up here in the Broadwater. Um, handles it all really nicely. The new, the new Mercury uh, throttle box, uh, with all of those options on it, takes a lot of that clutter off the dash, puts it at your fingertips. Uh, the North Bank, of course, you can flush mount a big screen unit in there. This one's got the big Garmin in there. Through the NEMA network, it gets all of that engine telemetry and stuff that you'll need to do it. But overall, the North Bank 750, it's a big, tough fishing boat that's ideally set up, and boy, it matches this Mercury 400 horsepower just perfectly.